Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Batman Arkham City video. That's right, we're doing something very different today. You guys responded so well to my Arkham Knight suit ranking, and so I thought, why not jump in and rank all the suits in Batman Arkham City as well? There's definitely gonna be some hot takes, but oh man, there are a lot of really good alternate suits in Arkham City. Rocksteady did a bang up job. But before we jump into the actual ranking, if you think Batman Arkham City is one of the greatest games ever made like I do, well then scroll Scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all things going on with Rocksteady Games, I'm going to be making a ton of videos for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League when it comes out next year. So hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And real quick, let's have a word from today's sponsor. I think we can all agree that someone like Batman absolutely wants to make sure that their cybersecurity is 100% intact and protected. So if Batman wants to do it, then you should too, which brings brings me to today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN that's going to help mask what you do online. It's got a strong encryption, safe and fast protocols, and you can use Surfshark on unlimited devices. If you're traveling around the world, Surfshark is also going to help keep your internet connection secure and help you avoid any internet restrictions wherever it is you may be traveling to. And if you're just going and you're out and about connecting to a public Wi-Fi network, Make sure that you keep your internet connection secure and use Surfshark. Or if you're someone like myself, you check out a lot of TV shows, you check out a lot of different movies that are out there, but sometimes you're limited to what's available on the streaming service that you use. Well, Surfshark allows you to unlock access to any country's available catalog for websites like Netflix. Purchasing a 24 month plan is without a doubt one of the best things you can do and Surfshark right now is hooking it up for you guys. If you use my code Caboose, check out that link in the description or scan the QR code that's on screen right now. When you purchase a 24 month plan, you're gonna get three months absolutely for free. So what are you waiting for? Get Surfshark today, prioritize your internet security, and as well, unlock Pandora's box on the different kinds of shows and movies that you can check out on certain streaming websites. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video okay before we jump into the actual list let me mention before anyone comments uh actually caboose you forgot about the armored batman suit from the wii u version listen barely anyone played this game on that platform and i have no way of getting gameplay with that suit because i never bought a wii u i know there's also the mad hatter batman but you can only use that for a single side mission and can access it in free roam so those two suits while really cool are off the list so don't ask me about them okay now let's jump in at number nine i have the batman in incorporated suit listen i talked about this suit quite a bit in my arkham knight video so i don't want to sound like a broken record here but we were really close to having one of the greatest bad suits of all time with this one i cannot express enough how much i love the symbol on the chest and the black and gray color scheme is just the way to go for bat suits but the, the crotch area whatever the hell is going on there just don't look right i know it seems like a small part of the suit and it should be rather insignificant in the grand scheme of things but i mean come on tell me that's not right where your eyes go when you're looking at the suit head on no just me i don't know it's just weird okay then up next at number eight i have the batman year one suit i know this is supposed to be year one batman but he's almost too baby faced and not batman looking enough i will say i really appreciate that and this will be a recurring trend with the alternate suits in this game that rocksteady was super comic accurate with the look down to changing the actual bruce wayne model the suit itself is pretty nice and i very much dig the shorter ears here it's not the worst alternate suit by any means but it's not the best either it certainly isn't in the upper echelon of alternate costumes in this game then at number seven i have the earth one suit see here's the thing this suit is also almost perfect it doesn't have the weird crotch thing that you have on the batman incorporated suit which is definitely a huge plus but i just don't like that the bat logo is looking almost like it was screwed on with the drill i can't harp on it too much but if we could mesh together this suit's empty crotch area with that awesome oval shaped bat logo from the incorporated suit it would literally be perfect and in all honesty it would be higher on the list but pretty much from here here on out we're in like the hall of fame for alternate costumes in superhero games and kicking that off at number six is the 1970s suit obviously a classic but there's one thing about the arkham city version of this suit that edges it out when put up against the arkham knight rendition and that's the white eyes the blue just pops and you'd think it looks goofy but paired with those white eyes batman is still as intimidating as he ever was side note i really miss how they had different poses for alternate suits when you view them in the character trophies don't know why they got rid of that in arkham knight 
It's very fun to use this suit, and I hope one day that we can see a live action Batman film embrace the blue. Maybe not the bright blue from the 70s era, but a navy blue would be really cool. Kicking off the top five though, at number five, I have the base Arkham City suit. Seriously, this is a testament to how perfect the next batch of suits are from here on out because I love this costume. Top to bottom, it embodies every little detail of what you think of when you picture Batman in your head. Rocksteady have crafted something iconic with this suit that should be remembered for as long as the character of Batman is relevant. Huge round of applause to them. But again, the following suits to be appreciated as alternate looks for Batman are unbelievable. And at number four, I have the Sinestro Corps suit or the Yellow Lantern Batman. Just off the origin of the suit alone, you can't tell me it is an incredibly badass. Then you see the actual design and it 100% evokes exactly what it should given Batman is a Yellow Lantern and that's fear. While the Sinestro Corps are mainly known to be evildoers and Batman isn't about that life, it still makes sense that he would embody fear itself considering he was practically already doing that even without the ring. Having the ring on his hand is awesome too and the white eyes once again, chef's kiss. Wish we could have gotten this one again in Arkham Knight. Now we're in the top three and at that third spot I got the Dark Knight Return suit. You already know why this one is 1000 times better than the Dark Knight Return suit that we got in Arkham Knight. I commend Rocksteady for the comic accuracy and having Frank Miller's design leap off the pages of the comic books and into this game. Being able to roam around as one of the most badass interpretations of the Cape Crusader is something that I'll consider to be timeless. The Arkham Knight version of this suit also doesn't work because the build of Batman is far bulkier than his head, whereas everything here is a perfect match. Well done, Rocksteady well done. But okay, now we're heading into the top two, and this was so tricky. I flip-flopped between these last two suits and really contemplated where I wanted to put them. You could really consider this to be a 1A, 1B scenario, because the last two suits on my list are so close. But at number two, I have the Batman Beyond suit. I know this is exactly what people wanted in Arkham Knight, and even though I like the Arkham Knight Batman Beyond suit, of course I tend to agree. Once again, the comic accuracy here is jaw-dropping, just straight straight up Terry McGinnis in the game, white eyes and no cape and sleek all black suit with a dope red logo on the chest. It's a perfect design. We seriously need an animated movie or even a live action interpretation of Batman Beyond to get more eyes on this unreal entry in the Batman lore. I understand this is a lot of people's number one suit and I can't say I disagree with you, but the next suit edges it out by just the tiniest hair. And I'm sure you all guessed it by now, but to skip all the suspense, at number one I have the animated series bat suit. I'd say something like Rocksteady walked so that other superhero game developers could run, but let's be honest, the skins in Arkham City changed that statement to something more along the lines of Rocksteady sprinted at full speed so that other superhero game developers could try and keep up. This suit is so awesome. I love that it's cell shaded and I'm so happy that it's just a 3D render of the look from the cartoon. It even makes me kind of wish that we got an extra Batman Beyond suit that got the same treatment. It isn't just a nostalgia trip though. As I mentioned, the Batman Incorporated suit is nearly perfect, and the Batman Animated Series suit is basically what I wanted, but even cooler in its cell shaded form and featuring the white eyes. Clearly, you can tell that Rocksteady had a deep respect for the Batman Animated Series as they implemented a lot of ideas from the cartoon into the franchise. And it's great to see that the Animated Series essentially got immortalized in Batman Arkham City, and I only wish that that suit got ported over into Arkham Knight. I get what they were trying to do with Arkham Knight in that wanting to keep the same. Bruce Wayne model throughout the entirety of the game, but it certainly shackled the creativity that Rocksteady has showcased that they have with the alternate suits in Arkham City. That animated series suit, just a 10 out of 10 in my personal opinion. And there you have it, all the alternate suits in Batman Arkham City ranked from worst to best, but again, as I always mention, this video is just my opinion and you don't have to agree with it at all. In fact, I encourage you to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give me your ranking of the alternate costume in Batman Arkham City from worst to best in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen and make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.